But first, we need to get to this major developing story in Philadelphia. Five people killed in a mass shooting, four adults and a 15-year-old boy. The survivors, two boys, a 13-year-old and two-year-old, both shot in the legs. That toddler's mother and twin brother also injured by shattered glass. The family of three in a car together, mom driving when the shooter randomly opened fire on them. This awful shooting spree unfolding last night in King Sessing. The sun still up. I'm Sheba Russell. I'm Jason Martinez. Police do have someone in custody, and city officials just provided an update to us about two hours ago. Kelly Rule was there for the press conference. What can you tell us, Kelly? Well, Jason and Sheba, law enforcement sources identified the shooter to me as 40-year-old Kim Brady Carricker, who lives just a few blocks from where this all unfolded. But this afternoon, police and the DA's office did not publicly name the shooter because the shooter has not been charged. At this point, investigators believe this shooter had no connection to any of the victims and that, at this point, it appears to be random. It's just sad, man. It's just, this is stuff I see on TV, not in real life. Like, that's why I'm so shocked. Dominique Evans says his 20-year-old brother, Lashad Merritt, simply walked outside his home last night to go to the store, but didn't make it down the street. Just walked up the house. Yeah. My best homie was right there and shot him twice. Kind of person, sweet, you know, good conversation, you know, work hard, you know. Play with my sons and nephew, love them very well. Philadelphia police say Merritt was one of five people shot and killed when a 40 year old opened fire near 56th and Chester Streets in King Sessing around 8 30 Monday night in what appears to be a random attack. Investigators say there's currently nothing connecting the shooter to the victims. Law enforcement sources identify the shooter as Kim Brady Carricker, and police say this video circulating on social media is part of the investigation, showing the suspect turn and open fire. Police Police believe the first victim, 31-year-old Joseph Womad Jr., was killed inside a home on South 56th Street. The suspect then began shooting aimlessly uh, at occupied vehicles and individuals on the street as they walked. Among the others killed, 29-year-old Dimir Stanton, 59-year-old Ralph Morales, and 15-year-old Dewan Brown. Police say a two-year-old little boy was shot while in the backseat of his mother's car with his twin simply driving by at the time. He was still shooting as we're scooping up human. Police right there, they start running to the scene, shoots at the police. Police say 12th District officers ran towards the gunfire, caught up with the shooter on the 1600 block of Fraser Street, and took the shooter into custody. Police say the shooter was wearing a ski mask and body armor, armed with an AR-15 style rifle and 9mm handgun. What happened last night in our concessing neighborhood was unimaginably disgusting and horrifying. On what was supposed to be a beautiful summer evening, this armed and armored individual wreaked havoc. This is a national tragedy that we have a mass shooting a day, or more than a mass shooting a day, in America in 2023. And they are being committed with assault style rifles. And City officials joining House Speaker Joanna McClinton out in the neighborhood this morning with a message about guns. Neighbors say the community unusually quiet this morning. A bike a child was riding at the time of the gunshots left in the same exact spot untouched. This neighbor who didn't share his name said he met the alleged shooter a week ago. But he looked like he was fine. Well, there's nothing wrong with him. He seemed, you saw him one week ago? Yeah. And he seemed completely normal? Yeah, completely normal. He told me he was a town and watch them around here, you know, um, yeah. Now, there is some information circulating online about the shooter's social media activity. We did ask police about that. They said they would not comment about it at all, but that social media will be a part of their active and ongoing investigation. The DA's office did say the shooter will be charged with multiple counts of murder and aggravated assault. But again, those charges likely won't be official until tomorrow morning. Jason. Charges pending. All right, Kelly, we'll thank you very much. Let's get to the weather now. On